All right, good afternoon, everybody. Eddie DeBlock here of the Relic Extractors. Chef Annie will be joining us shortly. Drop me off at the um, the slag glass uh, area we were at. Maybe we'll just dub this the slag glass dump. Who knows? Um, but at any rate, it's a beautiful sunny day. And, uh, well, I wish I had my fishing pole, actually. Um, maybe next time. That's part of the Delaware here. Got some uh, mallards. I saw a couple margansers before on my way, shuffling down the hill here. And uh, it's the highway down there, the Route 84 bridge in the distance. So it's nice and breezy, shady here at least, uh, about 80 degrees out. So I got my potato rake here and uh, my backpack and I'm going to gather up as uh, much as I can and uh, like I said I'm going to start filling up some mason jars and see how, uh, how receptive you guys are to it. So uh, yeah and uh, we'll see what other goodies we find. Hopefully uh, we'll find a couple uh, old bottles in here. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll get back at you. All right, just a few seconds into it. It is a nice piece. Man, look at the fleck in it. I'm not sure what all that is in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Almost looks like glitter in it. So it goes from like, like a spring green or something like that into that beautiful aqua there. with all them flecks in it. So, not bad for the first little find of the day. All right, see what else we got. Stay tuned. Well, I'm basically here for small stuff today, really, but that piece has got a lot going on. Look at the size of that. I mean, there's big money in it. I mean, look them up. Some of these big, huge chunks of glass, people are getting to a, from 100 to 150 dollars for you know look at that awesome swirl and slag in that you know a lot of uh today's glass blowers marble makers they will you know reconstitute this melt it back down and use it to make their marbles and um you know i guess they put it in like a crucible you know, inside of a furnace and melt it back down, pour it out into into rods or um, or whatever. You know, take a big glob of it, put it on the end of their punt rod, and you know, hand turn a marble or uh, any other you know glass item that they're making. Um, so those two big pieces will be coming with me. I hope I find a huge amount of small stuff. I did have a, I did find a couple little pieces already. My bag's all the way up on the other side over there right now. So um, this seems to be the heavier concentrated spill from up top right here. So um, those two big pieces there just literally came out of the sand right there in front of my rake. And uh, I mean, you can see it. It's littered all the way down into the river. I mean, this river has been up way past this mark right here, basically. So that's good at least eight foot down so when this river floods it's probably washed a ton of stuff out so and there's probably tons of stuff buried in here from all the silt and everything you know gathering on top when the water recedes so um i see a nice brick in here i'm going to see if it's embossed and uh i see a couple of them laying out there actually the old furnace block some of them are embossed this one here and then there's a broken wool something. I see w, or wood something. W O O D L. Maybe Woodley. Who knows? I'll find out if I find one. So uh, let's. Uh, then you got these huge, huge ones here too. Oh, look at that. That's a nice piece. That's got some obelescent in it. Never know what you're going to find, where you're going to find it. So, all right. We'll get back at you. Stay tuned. 
All right, well, here's one here. You can read it. It says Woodland. That one's a little bit too damaged uh, for me to even waste my time pulling it out. Um, let's see what this is right here. Another piece of glass rod. That looks like it was uh, attached to that weird thing that Annie found last week. Big old trippy piece of glass. So, um, and then that other one I pulled out there, there was nothing on it. So, all right, still picking. Stay tuned. Whew. All right, guys, got a few more pieces. Um, got a pocket full of small pieces. Chef Annie was already down here, and she's back up the hill already um, with a bag with a bunch of little stuff in it. Um, between that and uh, what I got in my pocket, I could probably at least uh, do one mason jar and uh, you know, maybe some of these I can break up too so that we can fit some, uh, you know, fill up a jar nicely. And uh, some really cool colors. Um, this one here is pretty neat. Got a lot of bubbles in it and everything. And then a uh, beautiful uh, amber piece here, like a reddish amber. Got a color of that. Uh, a nice uh, red piece here. Maybe we can have Gene carve that into an Italian horn, kind of, and drill it out. We'll make a pendant. It'll be a little red hot chili pepper. That'll be cool. And then uh, these bluish pieces here. Uh, it's got like black and like green and everything in it. Another piece of that real crazy stuff with all kinds of colors in it. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna be too much longer. And uh, I'm kind of hurting today for some reason. Um, so we'll see you guys at the auction later on tonight. And if I find anything else within the next 10 minutes, I'll get it on here. Otherwise, I'm going to pack up and uh, we'll see you later on. All right, guys. Check this out. <laughs> Weighs about, oh, I'd say at least a good 8 to 10 pounds. Look at the color of that thing. It's humongous. I'll get a good penny for that. As long as I get the right buyer, I might have to open up an Etsy store. All right, I'm out. Chef Annie's waiting for me. Ice is melting. I'm getting hot. We'll get back at you later on tonight on the auction. All right, guys. Well, like I said, um, I think I'm going to uh, come down here uh, catfishing, actually. Um, early in the morning, I actually seem to do better on this river between 6 and 8 in the morning, two hours uh, with a fall fish. It's like a little shiner uh, native to the Delaware and uh, this creek over by me called Raymond's Kill. Um, but this is a perfect spot for catfish here. You got these nice little like small rapids coming down. You got a, an eddy over there, it swirls, and then this point that comes out. And it just swirls everything around right in this hole right here. So casting out just upstream from that and letting it drift down and then come back down in the hole and letting it sit. I think that'll be the ticket. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the channel runs, you know, pretty much right through the middle here and then out. So um, I'll be, that's uh, food for thought for me. All right. See you later.